Hello there, Big Benedict here. We're playing God of War 1 on God difficulty, and this is my guide and walkthrough. We're currently on part 16, Desert of Lost Souls 2, and we've got um, something that I think might constitute a boss fight, in as much as it doesn't feel like one too much, but um, these are uh, lower iterations of the Desert Sirens. These are indeed the more uh, susceptible, susceptible ones, the, the ones that are more of a pushover. So what's going to happen is these guys are going to be throwing projectiles at you. People are going to be flying all around. Um, and what you need to do is do your spirit whoring, which is uh, this, you know, tri uh, tri triangle, triangle, triangle. That's the, the spirit whoring. Uh, you know, you want to focus on doing that and then uh, launching these guys. Now, a, a really great way to launch them um, is the... L1 plus X, that's a terrific way to launch them. You could actually just roll up to them uh, with the right stick into evade. That will do a roll and then an evade afterwards. It, it's it's amazing. I mean, um, it, I always feel kind of I always feel kind of bad that I can't do the no upgrade run plus. But just playing this game and oh, this is the first video I've got damage too. So we, I did 15 videos without taking damage, but I did t take damage over here. It's just it's. You know, with, with these fucking spammers, what can you really do? Um, but you might wonder, well, how is um, how is this going to work if the, they keep spawning perpetually? Well, it actually does seem that way, doesn't it? But um, things will wind down, and you will get um, decreased numbers of them coming in. So at, at this point, we have them at, uh, you know, three total. We're gonna have them at two total eventually, and then at last we'll have just one of them. So, uh, just see what they do is um, they try to suck you in with uh, this wind attack that they do. I'm not sure if it's the wind or their breath. I'm not sure, but they try to pull you over to them, and then once you're over to them, they will do a heavy attack. It's a, a charged attack with their projectile. Um, but the nice thing is you you can't really um, fault. Uh, anybody but yourself if you g get caught in that because it's very easy to get out of it so let's see spirit whoring launching and then grab throwing in the air um, yeah that that's the best way to do it um, now I have done this on um, a no upgrade run where I had the blades at level one and it it's not uh, it wasn't the difficult thing that I thought it would be so it's actually um, fair even on lower difficulties so that's got to tell you something the range just you, you know the funny thing is god of war has always been a a game with ranged attacks the kratos hits from range and what they did with god of war 2018 is um they i know you get the blades if you know but at the first part of the game and most of the game leading up to the blades what's it like half half let's just say half the game you get the 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 axe they they turned a game that was ranged ranged combat into melee combat and i i know why they did it because they wanted to change things up and they wanted to keep um keep everybody on their toes you know, everybody who was really familiar with the game, they wanted to turn it upside on its head. And I, I do think that they, something needed to be done with another God of War, but I, I just don't think that, um, because we're never going to get a game like this again. Never. It's, we're doomed. Because God of War 2, whenever that comes out, in 3030, um, you know, first of all, we'll, I'll be dead. And second of all, um, they can't make, these types of games anymore you know why it's not because they they don't sell it's because the people that work on these games they the new people I'm talking about the ones that are in charge of making games for us um, they don't know how to make a game like this they cannot do it and it's easier too. a game like this would be easy compared to all of the intricacies and um, the you know the multifaceted uh, everything going on, but <laughs> the multifaceted everything going on, man. <laughs> My boy Felipe is back there co cocking his eyebrow at me. He's like, "What are you doing? What are you doing, Bick? Bick? What are you doing, Buck? You fucking Buck fucker!" There we go. Oh, more, more of them. 
And it, it's interesting too because um, this fight here, I've read, is sort of an archetype for the clones. The way that um, these enemies, uh, the way they spawn, where they spawn from, and tr uh, it's just I, I I read that and I instantly uh, ag agreed on that with because this um, this is just strange, you know, strange shit. Anyway, I, I don't like this part, so we're going to be moving on, and we're going to be fighting a new uh, Cyclops coming up over here. And um, I think that is exactly where we should leave off, because the video, you fucker, the video is almost done. i got to stop swearing, too. Uh, the video is almost done, and we, and we do need to get a move on. Uh, hustle on over to uh, Pandora's Temple, um, and then we will, um, we will see each other in Part 17. Please, do, take care.